Hey Fancy Beauties and Bowls, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Gina coming through with another video for you guys. So first I want to just go ahead and say thank you to all my new subscribers that's come over from Sharon's channel. Even though I shot this video before I even did that video, um, I still want to say thank you to everyone that's come and subscribed and show love to channel so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my glam bathroom and I'm going to turn it into a spa type of styled bathroom and the reason all this came about is because you see the paint and I cannot paint because I'm renting this property and the landlord that I'm renting from refuses to let me paint it so I have to find a workaround in order to get the look that I want and in order to enjoy the space that I want to have when I come home from hard days at work. So I figure maybe you guys could use this as an idea if you to find yourself in a situation like this. So first I started with buying the curtains and I found these curtains they're regular curtains that you would put up in your living room. They're 84 inches long and they have this beautiful design on them. They're really sheer and I figured that that would help me get the look that I was going for. So you'll see here, I'm just going to go ahead and go through and take everything down from the glam look and go from there. The thing I liked about these curtains and what I kept in mind when I was picking the curtains out is that I needed it to have that grummet type of top at the curtain with the rings in the middle. So I wanted to make sure that I had that look. And as you saw, even with the glam curtains, I took those as far up as I could without it going up too high and I did the same thing with these and of course I'll show that to you as we get into the video As I'm playing around with the curtains, I'm thinking, okay, I know I want to keep the curtains closed, but it's really not going to work. The look that I'm going for is not going to work like that because the shower wall has a missing piece to it and my OCD will not let me have that open like that. So I did later on change it and I ended up having it where the curtains would be open because I thought I was going to have to go in and get another package that contained two panels as well. So I'm going to move on into decorating and taking things down, moving them around. I went ahead and went through my things and found some things that would work. I took some, some things from that I had in the living room and brought that in here. Uh, I kept some of the items that I already had in the bathroom. I kept those in here, which is the, um, the candle holders right there. So I did leave those in. I purchased that mop, that marble tray, if you will. And I really thought that that was going to work in here, but it ended up where it's not going to work. It won't work at all. No matter where I put it, on the sink, on the tank top, it just would not work in this space. So we're just going to move on, figure it out, and just keep it moving.
All right, so now we're all finished. And now you guys can see that I have my spa and my relaxing field bathroom where I can come in, I can have my bath, I can have my shower, and I can just let the day go down the drain and just have a wonderful time soaking in the relaxing atmosphere that I have in my, my new decorated bathroom. You guys tell me what you think. Tell me if you like it. Tell me what I should change, if anything, and just share your ideas. Share your thoughts with me here on this video. And I'm going to go through each piece that I chose to go into the bathroom. So you guys remember that's been with me for a minute. You know that I hauled these in another video and those pictures came from Big Lots and they were either $5 or they were $6. So I figured this would go really well and help me get that spa type of feel in the bathroom. The towel came from Walmart and I went ahead and kept that in here as well. That garbage can came from Walmart as well. I had it in my bathroom. The rugs, this rug in particular came from Walmart and the other two came from, mm, I believe I picked those up from Home Goods. Yes, it was Home Goods. I picked them up from there. This, oh, it took me forever to find the set that I wanted in here. And this came from Bath, Bath, <laughs> Bad Bath and Beyond. Okay, and it's not a set. The marble one, yes, that's a set. But that tray itself, that should go to another set, but I split it. So I just use that as a tray to hold everything together. And I love the way that looks. I did some layering with this. The first bottom piece, the gold and that bottom pot came from Big Lots. The top part with the flower in it came from Home Goods. And that's just another picture that I picked up from Big Lots as well. And that one was, should have been $6. So I figured it tied in really well with the faucets because you know if he won't let me paint, he ain't gonna let me change no faucets, okay? <laughs> And then on this side, I kept the flower that I spray painted and I also spray painted the vase. I put some white rocks inside of that vase and then my candle and that just brought everything together for me. So you guys let me know what you think. Um, would you use some of the ideas that I used? I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you in future videos. It's your girl Gina. Wishing you the very best in life. Stay prayed up. Stay positive. If you find yourself in a position where you can make someone happy. You can make someone smile. Please do that. Because you never know what you will do for that person. And I'll see you next time.